What's up guys, Elliot here, Elliot Fitness, bringing you guys the Instagram Q&A that I posted on my Instagram three weeks ago. Finally getting to it, so I'm going to answer all of you guys' questions. Stay tuned. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and didn't get this opportunity, you can follow me at Elliot Fitness, and I'll be having Instagram Q and A's every now and then. Sometimes I'll do it randomly for some ideas to throw over uh, commentary and workout footages, footage, <laughs> footages, or I will be uh, just doing a plain video like this answering questions. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first question is. How tall are you and what's your take on carb cycling? Would you or have you ever done it? So to start it off, how tall I am, I am around 5'11". I haven't measured myself for a while, but um, I would say I'm 5'11". And then carb cycling, what's my take on it? Uh, it's not necessary, but it depends on the individual and you know their body, their metabolism and all that. Uh, if you're dieting for a long period of time and your carbs are really low and you're still not losing the weight, then I may have you implement carb cycling in, in there, but um, I recommend that if you're starting a diet and uh, you're starting, I wouldn't say carb cycle right away. Uh, I would say keep everything consistent and track, and um, you know, eight, eight, ten weeks later, we may implement it if you have to. I'm a fan of keeping it simple, keeping it, uh, keeping it, uh, you know, keeping it, keeping it there. But if we have to do it, you have to do it. Um, and there's many other ways to do carb cycling. You know, you can do uh, low days for like six days of the week and do a really good high day, or you can do like a low, medium, and high day. It all really depends. Um, what really matters is the weekly net calories you're taking in. Make sure that's lower than what you're extending out in the gym, doing everyday activities, and you will see fat loss there. And have I ever done it? Um, I haven't done it like really, really right. Well, right now we're kind of doing it. I have three macro days. I have a training day, which is 150 carb, a rest day, which is 115 grams of carbs, and uh, a refeed day, which is 325. Um, my guess is that I'll be probably implementing carb cycling very soon, just because you know I'm at low carbs right now, and things are trying to stall out, and I want to get this cut over with, because it's it's been a good good long time now, and it's coming to an end. So carb cycling will do that, you know, do the uh, final touches, if you will. But, but long story short, it's not necessary and really depends on the individual. All right. Which fast food and coffee chains do you visit and like the most? And are your favorite items to order? Macro friendly and unfriendly. Well, for fast food, uh, Chipotle, I guess, if you consider that fast food, I usually get a uh, chicken burrito bowl. Uh, pretty much it's macro friendly. Uh, and, if, and a burrito if I have enough or if I'm in a bulk. And then coffee chain, or oh, another fast food chain I like is actually McDonald's. I mean, you can get a grilled chicken sandwich, and I like their grilled chicken snack wraps. Chipotle barbecue, you usually get two of them. And I think the macros are around 40, 50 carb, 10 ish fat, and like 20, 30 grams of protein for two of them. So, pretty good macros. And then coffee chains I go to is, uh, I, I really don't do many coffee chains. Uh, I can only think of Starbucks and I like the uh, vanilla, I think cappuccino it is, but um, I would say it's probably not macro friendly. I don't know the exact macros on it because I actually haven't had it for a while. But I used to love those things. It tastes just like a vanilla milkshake. You can't really taste coffee in them, so I like them. Vanilla bean cappuccino or frappuccino, I don't know the difference. I don't know my coffee vocabulary, <laughs> but that is that. Um, what are some negatives of zero calorie monsters and favorite quest bar? My favorite quest bar is probably the cookies and cream flavor. I do want to try the new one, the s'mores, but I haven't gotten to it yet. And the negative effects of zero calorie monsters, I would say there really isn't anything to worry about if you're not consuming a lot of it. If you're doing eight to 10 cans a day, I mean, there could be some negative side effects, especially in your wallet. But uh, <laughs> but um, if you're having like one here and there, there's really nothing to be worried about unless your caffeine tolerance is very low and I mean I really don't see anything wrong with it uh, what are you majoring in at school right now I'm doing exercise and rehabilitative science um, current supplements used right now I'm using whey protein 
uh, MTS and my protein. Uh, I consider it more of a food though. And then supplement wise as well, I'm doing pre-workout. Uh, I've been really using Unleashed Extreme creatine five grams a day and I've been implementing Citation Extend BCAAs in some workouts. Uh, to be honest with you, creatine five grams a day every day is what I recommend, but I mean, I kinda, kinda forget sometimes, so it just goes to prove you really don't need supplements because I don't take all this every single day. But um, for supplements I would recommend fish oil, multivitamin, creatine, five grams a day every day. And those are the three ones I really recommend because I said whey protein is a food. And if you have extra money, I could see yourself investing into a good pre-workout. And if you're in a deficit, um, maybe some branched in amino acids. But I mean, if you don't have the money for it, it's not a big deal. Um, thoughts on my protein protein and the flavors you recommend and flavors you don't like. Well, right, I like my protein protein, but um, the flavors that I've only tried so far are the strawberry whey isolate and the smooth chocolate whey. And I'm a fan of strawberry. In fact, I have it a lot. And the smooth chocolate, uh, my roommate Nick bought. I tried, tried it. I wasn't really a big fan of that chocolate. And usually I like chocolate protein powders. So I don't recommend chocolate smooth. It has a, it's not really chocolatey. It's like a weird, weird uh, flavor. Um, but strawberry tastes really good. Almost like Nesquik. Um, have you met any other flexible dieters on campus? I actually have met a few people who uh, count macros. Um, I don't know if they do flexible dieting, but I know they count macros, so they probably, I don't know if they, you know, implement fun foods or if they just, you know, have the strict bro foods but fit into their macronutrient goals. Um, also, campus-wise too, uh, Tony Doe goes here, uh, and I've seen him a few times, and he's a flexible dieter too. I'll have his channel in the description box down below. Uh, maybe I can get a collab working soon. I think that'll be kind of fun. And if you want to see it, let me know. Uh, let him know too. Uh, favorite food and favorite meal ever. Uh, Famous Dave's barbecue ribs, six of them. Cornbread, Wilbur beans, and those Dunkin' ap apples they discontinued. There were some warm, cinnamon, caramel like apples. And they discontinued them from the menu. But, um, kind of disappointed about that. But yeah, Famous Dave's barbecue. How many push ups can you do non stop? Um, I haven't really tried that yet, but I think I do have a push-up challenge video on my ch channel that I did for PMG, Pure Muscle Gains. I think I got like 51, but I mean, kind of slack on the push-ups to be honest with you. Uh, OMG this picture though, lol, thank you. Anyways, my question is, what got you into bodybuilding when you first started? Were you instantly hooked, or did it take a while for you to actually get into it and enjoy doing what you do? What made you start your YouTube channel? Well, first, I'll answer the YouTube channel. Um, I started my YouTube channel just to... Because other YouTube channels I was watching before... Um, I started this channel back in 2012, believe it or not. And I kind of slacked on it for a long time. And this summer, I actually, I actually just started doing it again. And... Um, Anyways, what started the YouTube channel was I've always been in, been really big into uh, filming, like homemade movies and stuff, and the, all the films. I kind of already knew how to use editing software and cameras and all that. Um, I even have Final Express, but it's on a computer; it doesn't work anymore. So if I can get that onto it, um, I can get some better, high-quality edited videos. Right now, I'm just using iMovie, but I actually did purchase Final Cut Express even before the YouTube channel because that's how much I was into like movie making and stuff. But um. Um, so I had this fitness and then I was watching uh, other fitness channels back in 2011-12 such as like Barthel Fitness when he first started, uh, Campbell Fitness when he had the old channel, uh, Michael Corey Lean Body Lifestyle before it was Michael Corey Fitness, uh, Scott Herman, Scooby, uh, even Dan Berg and Chad Taylor. They, they don't really do YouTube anymore but I remember them. Uh, yeah. Last, oh, and Matt August too, when Matt first, when he first uh, was in the first Matt versus. So, all in all, I watched a lot of those guys' videos, and, and it kind of inspired me in seeing how they were motivating and helping all these people and sharing their journeys and all that. So I'm like, you know, that looks kind of fun. Uh, I want to implement that, and I want to start doing my own journey. So that's what made me want to start the YouTube channel, help people, you know, not make the same mistakes that a lot of beginners make. Uh, focus on, you know, what really matters, uh, and also want to show people that you can like have a good flexible lifestyle 
while still doing uh, bodybuilding. So that is my goal of channel, and that's why I started it. And then what got me into bodybuilding, and when you first started instantly hooked, um, I would say before I got into bodybuilding, I was just going into uh, losing weight. Seventh grade, I was uh, like 230 pounds. I was pretty big. Um, so what we did was uh, actually my mom hired a personal trainer, and I did and I did that. And I remember doing that for the first time, and I didn't hate it. I actually loved it. Uh, I remember being sore like 20 minutes after the workout, which I don't even know it was possible getting doms that fast. It could have been the pump, and I wasn't used to the pump, but it hurt. <laughs> and what really got me into bodybuilding after doing my weight loss from like you know seventh to ninth grade was actually watching those YouTube channels and seeing uh, just they were inspiring, and it really I started researching bodybuilding more, uh, natural bodybuilding, and all that, and just seeing. Other YouTube channels such as you know Matt Ogus, Barthel compete his first time, uh, Campbell Fitness when he was doing more bodybuilding style workouts, uh, Scott Herman, all those guys really inspired me to you know kick it up a notch, and really I realized you know it's this thing I love to do, and uh, that goes back to why I started my YouTube channels because I'm sharing my passion, I'm sharing my life to you guys, and that's something I, like I said before I want to do, so that's what bodybuilding really is to me. It's making yourself you know better every single day inside the gym um, even outside the gym too so I was hooked at first even though I was overweight and the pain was there um, I loved it and I remember do remember like there were days where you know I slacked and started skipping uh, workouts and like in the fall a year later and kind of like getting unmotivated and then the YouTube channels happened watched them got motivated again and then kicked it up a notch nutrition and training wise and that's why I got into bodybuilding. So thank you guys for watching. That concludes this Q&A Instagram video. Uh, I'll be having more of these in the future so follow me on Instagram at Elliot Fitness. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.